Now to some more stories we're watching tonight. Maine's leading support organization for people experiencing homelessness is calling on Portland City leaders and Maine state agencies to take immediate action to house people living on the streets before winter. Prattville Street estimates there are more than 200 people living on the streets of Portland, so it's proposing a seven pillar plan to try and address the ongoing problems. It includes plans to look for more housing, add staff, increase communication with people experiencing homelessness, and create more funds to go towards these types of projects. The Portland City Council is set to meet tomorrow night to further discuss the city's response. But homelessness isn't just a Portland issue. People around the state are trying to provide support to those experiencing homelessness, including multiple groups in Bangor. Even with resources available, many are left unhoused, and areas like the Bangor Public Library and Pierce Memorial Park have become landing points. New Center Maine's Raya Wooten has more. I come early in the morning and they're sleeping underneath the picnic table. Ann Ross owns Body Wise Pilates across the street from Bangor Public Library, where she sees unhoused people sit and spend time every day. Kisno Maximi has been homeless for nine years. He says the homeless community isn't getting the support they need. Many of it is not having enough resources, not having a place to go. It's not enough people making businesses that help people nonprofitly. It's very hard. Bangor Public Library Director Ben Treat says the library is a space for everyone, and it's not their place to remove people if they're not disturbing others, regardless of complaints. And if somebody says, well, so why are you allowing people to just kind of sit in the library? The thing is, people have been just sitting in libraries since there were libraries. Staff regularly monitors areas so they can easily respond if there's an issue and work to make sure areas like the children's room are used correctly. Treat says the library has used American Rescue Plan funding to install security cameras. If there's a group of people who are starting to like misbehave, their voices are getting louder, we're able to respond to that and let them know your behavior is being observed, it's not acceptable. Uh, if this continues, you'll have to leave. Many on house people also spend time at Pierce Park, which is next to the library. Bangor Department of Parks and Recreation implemented a park ranger program that connects unhoused people with resources. If there are situations in some of our parks and open spaces that the folks feel they should make us aware of, please do that. Uh, that's why we've implemented those programs. While those experiencing homelessness continue to spend their time in the area, business owners like Ross hopes the community shows more compassion. A lot of us are just a step away from that. I could be a step away from that. In Bangor. Ryu Wooten, New Center, Maine.